Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. Today is Wednesday. It's the vault series. So what's in the vault? What's hidden beneath the surface? What is spirit wanting to relay? If that is what's in the vault, right? Into one's heart. Okay, so let's get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I take three cards. I go around the wheel from Aries to Pisces. I take three cards and then we assess what's happening and what's in the vault, right? Never to be spoken, never to be exposed, but you and I both know that what's ever in the vault somehow always comes out in some way, shape or form. All right, let's go. Aries, what's in the vault? Aries, so emotionally you're drained, really huge drainage here of emotions with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And I've seen this connection for a while now for you guys. Um, so it's emotional just overload, emotional unavailability, right? Someone doesn't, doesn't have the um the energy to move forward to maybe address issues that are too heavy right heavy on the heart right so you may be in your heart of hearts right you may be keeping a cancer pisces scorpio in your heart that it's emotionally very difficult to address the actual issues with this person whatever the issues are. So you're keeping someone in your in your vault. I don't know if this is an ex, if it's a girlfriend, a, a boyfriend, a lover, whatever it is, someone's in your heart space and causing you like causing you depression. That's what I heard. All right, Aries, you got to kind of figure that out. You really do. If this apply, if that applies to you, you got to address the issues with that person. Okay. Next, Taurus. Taurus, what is happening? Oh my God, Taurus, you're you've run out of options. The end of of so you're really disappointed that you don't have any more options to choose from is I think this is relating to, um, you know, your singlehood here. Maybe you thought you had, maybe you were hoping, you know, you could find more options, but for now, you're really disappointed that you ran out of options and everything in your life has ended. But please ask yourself, and that could have been part, you guys could have been part of the daily today where it's like whatever has ended in your life because this card came out and so did this in the daily today. Understand, Taurus, if you are suffering from depression, inner turmoil because of no more options, nowhere to go, what to do, ask yourself and look in the mirror at how does this, how does this, how can I take responsibility? How is this part of who I am? in terms of, right? Maybe you've always had options and now they've been exhausted only to understand that maybe the real issue is, you know, sticking to one person 100% and not having people in the back door, you know? And I'm not talking, I'm not trying to throw shade at Taurus. What I'm saying is I know people who have done that, who they are with, someone, they're dating someone, but they have a couple exes on the back burner, just in case. I mean, that's, that's, you know, you can't really and truly, it's very difficult to, to establish a friendship situation with exes. The, and especially when you're dating or even, you know, in a, in a full on relationship, that's not fair to that person or anyone else. Okay. Let's go, Gemini. What's in the vault, Gemini? All right, Gemini, look at you. 
So the arrows of love coming in to enlighten you about what you're doing. This is about what you do on a daily basis. You have an idea, Gemini. You've captured an idea that you're keeping very obviously in the vault, near and dear to your heart, right? You have this idea and it's going to flourish. You're putting in all your time and effort into this and this is what universe wants you to see, wants to see. It's not ready to, to it's not ready to be revealed, but it's coming. Nice. Gemini, very nice. Something's happening. Something's going on. I love it. Cancer, what's in the vault? Wow, Cancer, you just like, you just showed up. Look at, you showed up in your own reading or you're dealing with another water sign that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But look at this, celebration, love. Oh my God, I think you're feeling... Are you in a three-party situation here? Or are you in a relationship where you're carrying the weight of responsibility or this could be family where they're wanting you to be and or be with someone else or, or what is it that is weighing you down? Is it a third party? I mean, it makes sense, right? Cancers, come on. If there is three people. If not, it's a celebratory feeling in your in your heart, right? But something's weighing you down. So maybe if you drop the past, you can enjoy your celebratory future. So it probably is not a bad idea to just drop it and have, and if you do have three people, you're going to have to probably drop one because maybe it's just too much. You know, that's what it is. That Ten of Wands is too much. You're shouldering a lot of responsibility, Cancer. All right, Leo. And you're not showing the world, right? Because you guys are all about happy emotions and your feels. All right, I don't know why I'm still on. <laughs> I'm still on Cancer because I feel for you guys. All right, work, 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 Leo. Work in the house, projects, opportunity, going on interviews, I see here. You're, you're really working hard to find new work. I mean, that's so obvious. You're taking off. It could be um, a job opportunity or interview that's coming up that is out of town that you're looking at and pondering. But you have a happy home. You're very happy, but you have some projects maybe on the back burner or three opportunities for job interviews that you're going to check out. And maybe you don't wanna talk about them. Probably not a bad idea. And why do I say that? Because when you're dealing with, you know, with, um, with any project that you have, you know what they say, right? It kind of like, it takes away the energy of the actual good luck that comes into it. So if you're going on interviews, maybe you just want to wait until you get a new job and then tell everyone that you have a new job, right? It's in the vault for a reason. Okay, uh, Virgo. Virgo, you're not sleeping. What's happening here? Virgo, you're real defensive. It's kind of like, I just feel like you just want to like, you want to tell everyone, leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered, but but because you're, you want to be left alone. It's like, leave me alone. Don't come near me. I just want to be left alone. And this is a cycle that, is it ongoing? Do you get in these predicaments where, right? You learned lesson over lesson over lesson and people coming at you constantly about, right? I want this. I want this. I want this. Can you help me out? Can you help me out? And your head's spinning. You need to release and let go of the people that are not serving you so that this wheel now can turn. The wheel is changing. Life is changing, Virgos. So you have to change with it. And Virgos have a hard time changing. 
I mean, we all do, but Virgos is hard because why? You guys are the earth signs. You guys are all grounded. You don't like change, especially if it comes to big change, which this is, right? And this impacts your life for the next, you know, at least 12 years, truly. So that's what you have to do is just take, take your time. Don't get defensive with others. Just if you have to really and truly just be with yourself and figure out what it is that you want. Not what others want, because all those people are knocking at your door wanting something from you. You just don't want to be bothered by anyone right now, Virgo. So just give yourself time. Okay, Libra. Libra, beautiful manifestations here. Oh yeah, look at you came right out, even though this sometimes is Aquarius. We are at Libra. We have a Cancer, I'm sorry, we have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a masculine if you're a feminine, or it doesn't matter. It could be you in the house, working, manifesting, creating, drawing, writing. It, you, you are manifesting big time right now. Whatever you're doing, keep on, keep, it's keep, just keep on going, seriously. It's great. You're manifesting. Stay in that mode of manifesting. And, you know, it really, it manifests. When we manifest, when we co-create, it that is exactly what we are intended here. We are brought here to do. We are in this body to co-create, right, with the energy of love. So whatever you create, it's with love and it's newness and it's going to be amazing. All right. That's great. Scorpio. I love it. Scorp. Scorpio. Wow. What the heck's going on, Scorpio? So here we have a shakeup. Really, a shakeup in a love situation with someone who might be committed already in a commitment. All right. So this looks like someone's in a commitment, right? Someone's in a marriage with a family, right? Is there external stuff going on where there's a tower effect here? What is happening? Um, it could be something comes out of the blue that you didn't see, right? Is it, you know, are you, okay. So the first thing I thought of is something, something just blew up with your home not literally let me just say that this is like oh my god we just had this massive fight oh my god i i'm leaving i have to go i'm moving um i have a third party situation here that might be turbulent to the foundation of one's life this is the father so a father figure, if you're the father figure, you're in a relationship, you're in a committed relationship and something that it may be coming in is going to shake up the foundation with a third party. If this is your, if this is your person, then maybe it's just, oh my God, someone tells you some news that just shocks you. Someone died. Someone has to move. Someone got kicked out of their house. It doesn't have to be necessarily about you, but this is in the vault. So maybe you're not talking about someone who is in a relationship that either it's affecting you or someone on your external circle. So you could be hearing something that you don't like or you already did and it's affecting you. And who knows? We don't know if you like it or not. We don't, we're not, I'm not sure about that actually. Maybe the news is good, right? I have to say that news could be good. That's, that tower could be good news, not necessarily a shakeup. The reason why I said it's a shakeup, it, 
and could potentially be not so good is that there's a third party in, involved, right? Okay. Um, Sag. What is in the vault, Sag? So we have, you're dealing with, okay, I'm done. I'm done fighting with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I get it. Someone wants to be independent. Someone wants to be on their own. Someone is financially independent as well as, and I don't want to fight anymore. Someone thinks they got the best of you, perhaps. Did you get, I'm thinking it's the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. I'm thinking that someone had an a, a all-on verbal bashing and someone said, okay, I'm done. I don't want to fight anymore because you're like, I'm, someone said, I don't want to fight anymore and I just want to be left alone for, for a minute. And that's what you're doing. I think this is about you leaving, leaving someone who you're with, lover, spouse, whatever, live in. You're just letting them be and you're doing your own thing and or they're doing it and you're allowing, you're just saying, okay, I'm out. I don't want to fight. Okay, that's Sag. Uh, Capricorn. Capricorn, what's happening? Capricorn. Wow, it's Capricorn. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and an Aries, right? So we have a very happy union here. So Capricorn, you could, you could be the, the depicted as the emperor, right? In a family dynamic with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries, right? Depends. But this is a commitment. So maybe you're making a commitment, right? Maybe you're going to propose and it's like you're so happy about it. Maybe this is a father saying, Good luck to their child. They're getting married. All right, Capricorn. Someone may be tying the knot. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh my God, look at that. Three cards flew out. All right, well, this is beautiful. It's reversed. We're done. We are done sulking. We're done worrying about whatever it is that we were worrying about. And we are moving forward with love, big love, traveling. We're just, it's happening. We're feeling really good after feeling really bad, right? We're bonding. We're communicating. We're on the same page here creatively, passionately, growing together, right? I love it. I love that. Aquarius, really good reading. All right, Pisces. Pisces, here we are. A clarity, being clear about what it is you want. Whatever that is, whatever your wish, hopes, and dreams are happening, right? Whatever it is you want, you've got the vision, you've got the intuition and the knowingness. You're writing, you're creating something as well here. Writing something that is near and dear to your heart. You're communicating to someone that's near and dear to your heart. You could be like a little, you were a little emotionally drained from your external influences, right? The outer, the outer world, but within you in the vault is, I know what I want. I'm going for it. It's always been what I want. And I'm, and you know, nothing's going to stop me. Wow. Beautiful reading in the vault today. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get one overall card for what's in the vault for the collective consciousness, the collective universe, right? What's happening? What is the overall message for everyone? Oh my God, I love it. Love. 
love in every way, shape, and or form. We are the children. And we are all about love. Whatever you do, do it with love. Isn't that the truth? God's love. Love is God. So when you're making decisions, when you're going out today, when you're sitting there debating about the debate with people who don't see eye to eye with you, and I brought it up for a reason because it is all about love. So avoid those discussions <laughs> and show love to all. Have a great day.